Hello, welcome to Ashley's Christmas Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be cooking a curry for Christmas Eve. We're gonna have naan bread, chicken korma, and a whole host of other bits and pieces. So here is my Christmas Eve curry feast. There is too much to cover in one video, so I've broken it down into three. The main curry recipe is in this video, and the naan bread and other accompaniments are in two more videos on my channel. There is a link in the comments box below. So I have a coconutty chicken korma with almonds and cardamom to cook with you now. Okay, let's get cooking. I've already got 500 grams of diced chicken breast and 200 grams of yogurt here. And that's just gonna marinate and that's gonna help keep the chicken really moist whilst it cooks. So just set that aside whilst you prepare the base. So I've got some onions. So they're gonna go in to a pan over here with 50 grams worth of butter. Now it is Christmas Eve, it is a special occasion. So that much butter is okay, in my book anyway. So roughly chop this onion. Start to cook that onion down. You don't want it to burn, you just want it to really soften. So a nice low heat. That should do nicely. So you want about a tablespoon's worth of ginger. And remember, it's all gonna get blitzed up. Oh, I love a curry at Christmas. It's been a tradition in my family for as long as I can remember, really. We all either go out or we cook a curry or get a takeaway. I much prefer it when we cook. Ginger goes in, and then we want two cloves of garlic, just roughly chopped. Now this stage is really, really important because you are sweating. <laughs> Not literally, but but you're sweating that onion, that's breaking it down, it's starting to cook it, and it's releasing all of those sugars as well, so it makes it much sweeter. I'm gonna add turmeric, that's the main color in a korma, to about a teaspoon's worth of turmeric. And that goes in, and then some coriander, so some ground coriander. Oh, it smells amazing, doesn't it? You get it when it's really, really fresh. Yeah, about a teaspoon same amount in there and then just pop those into the pan and let them, them cook you just want to fry that for about a minute or so just to toast it and release all of its flavour one can of coconut milk of course it's solidified so just need to try and get that into there Go. Let's get there. We need to add some other spices, so I'm going to add some cardamom. Now I'm adding it now because you don't need to fry it, um, but it's still a really important spice for korma. Every korma should have a hint of cardamom running through it. So I've got about a teaspoon going in now, and also I've got some garam masala. Now this is my own recipe garam masala. Um, I've never told anyone the recipe, but uh, write in the comments below and uh, let me know if you want to see that recipe and uh, I'll put that spice mix together for you. But here our korma is now starting to take shape. Okay, now all that coconut milk has dissolved, I'm going to blitz up this sauce. Back on the heat and then we're gonna add our marinated chicken. And that chicken is gonna just poach in the sauce there. Okay, so we're just gonna have that on a low heat now, and let that chicken poach away. And then we're also gonna add 50 grams worth of ground almonds. So they're gonna go in as well. So as soon as that chicken is cooked, we're pretty much gonna be ready to go. We need to toast some almonds. So we use flaked almonds, just in the dry pan, medium heat. Our curry is now done, so it's time to clear the decks, and get everything plated up. So we have a whole Indian curry night feast with a coconut chicken korma as the main attraction, topped with toasted almonds and red chilli slices. The naan breads with the black onion seeds are light and fluffy and are perfect to mop up the curry sauce.
I've also made some cooling raita and an onion salad with toasted seeds to give it a crunchy texture and aromatic flavour. Oh, I can't wait to get stuck into this curry. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a merry, merry Christmas. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.